Tribune photographer Brian Casella took uh, what has become sort of an iconic shot of the NATO protests in Chicago. Can you just describe that last photograph and what you captured in that in that final frame that most people have seen? Sure, it's a Chicago police officer who's not in the riot gear um, coming forward and throwing a punch at one of the protesters um, who had been, who were, had gathered at Cermak in Michigan at the end of the rally yesterday. Okay, now how did you come to be there and to be in that position to take that photograph? Uh, at the end of the rally, they had marched uh, through the loop and they got into that point. Um, there were a few hundred protesters who gathered after the rally ended right at Turmeric in Michigan in the middle of the intersection. Clearly didn't want to leave. Um, police were starting to move them forward towards the west, getting them back towards State Street mm -hmm. and towards the L. Um, and so lines of police were forming. Um, and it was getting really, really tight with the groups of protesters at the front. I moved, I kind of worked my way and squeezed in. Um, to a location that was pretty close to the front of the lines, just within a couple of protesters from the front, and I saw an older woman, about 75 year old woman, who was kind of stuck right in the middle of this crush. It was getting really, really tight, and there were some of the protesters were trying to move her out, or someone trying to move her across the police line to get her out, to get her a little bit of a safer spot. Mm -hmm. um, and right as they were trying to move her out, there was a lot of commotion all of a sudden. Um, an officer got his helmet knocked off. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I saw uh, rocks were being thrown, mm -hmm. bottles were being thrown at the police officers. So somehow the helmet got knocked off. He moved forward uh, with his baton, and a couple of other officers behind him did as well. Um, and so there was some shoving back and forth, some hitting back and forth. Um, and right as he got right in front of me, I saw a stick come from my left and hit him on the head. Uh, broke right over his head. Mm -hmm. And then as he fell backwards, a second stick was coming from my right and hitting him. Um, and that's when the officer um, who threw the punch came from the back of the line, came forward to move the guy who was hitting him with a stick mm -hmm. to shove him backwards. As soon as I looked at the images, I knew the punch one was going to be a little bit controversial, a little bit of an issue to, you know, for the Chicago police to have that image out there. But you, I was glad that we had the sequence and we could show the sequence together to show that there were two sides to, to what happened. Also there was your our colleague Alex Garcia who was taking photographs also nearby. And at one point you said uh, he took that, that helmet cam video that showed the same thing. Exactly. And at one point you can you can recognize your hand with your camera in there. Yeah, from the, the left edge of his frame, right as that same commotion is happening, you can see my hand sticking forward and you can see all this happening. The first officer moving forward and the second one coming in and throwing the punch that knocks down a couple of the guys. Appreciate it. Brian Casella, photographer right. of the Chicago Tribune. Thank you. Thank you.